Hi, it's Laura at Aquamarine18. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I am here with an unboxing. I wasn't planning on making a video today at all. I feel pretty like sloppy and disorganized, if I'm honest, but um, I got mail. I got exciting, exciting mail. And I restrained myself long enough to, to set up the webcam so that I could share the unbox experience um, with you all. It took great restraint, I must say, uh, because I'm very, very excited. I feel like I'm talking quickly to make this unboxing um, happen quicker. Okay, so you'll know from the title of this video that the deck that I'm going to unbox is the Journey Oracle deck. And the Journey Oracle is a system, really, uh, created by Kelly Fitzgerald of The Truth and Story. Um, and I'll link below Kelly's website where you can order this deck. Um, she also has a Lenormand deck, which I also have and love, and the Journey Tokens. So the Journey Oracle that I've been waiting eagerly um, to get is the same system as another that, that Kelly had released um, some time ago, the Journey Tokens. So for folks who haven't seen them, um, the journey tokens are a system of tokens. There are 45 of them. They're made of wood. These are the backs. And they have symbols on the fronts. And so you can work with these as a casting system. That's the animal one. There are moon phases. Um, so you can work with the tokens as a casting system or you can pull them out and lay them out um, alongside each other and I really love the um, the system and I love the system because it is energetically based it is nature based um, and a lot of the symbols in the in the deck really resonate with me in terms of my spiritual practice and my beliefs and how I think about things and what I like to think about in readings um, and I've really enjoyed getting to know the, the tokens. And the tokens, I mostly, admittedly, I, I pull a few out and lay them. Um, casting is not something that has come very naturally to me, um, though I have tried and I will continue to try. Um, but now we have a deck of cards that is the same, um, the same 45 symbols as in the journey tokens. So they're simultaneously familiar and new which is really fun. Um, and so when you order this deck, I'm just gonna start, I can't believe the package hasn't been untaped yet. Um, when you order this deck from Kelly, what you get is the deck itself, and this deck comes in two sizes. Um, there's a, a regular and a mini. There is also a drawstring pouch and a randomly colored d20 dice it's packaged very well <laughs> um, and then you also get a pdf version of a guidebook and there's also a link that you can print the guidebook on lulu if you want to um, so what i'm going to do for this deck is i'm just going to have the pdf on my kindle i did print the lulu version of the guidebook for the journey tokens and the meanings of the 45 um, symbols are the same in the tokens and the cards, so I'm not going to print um, the whole thing again, but I did have a peek in case folks were interested, and printing the cards um, book on Lulu is listed about $15 Canadian, so uh, very affordable, but you do get the PDF. Okay, <laughs> finally, <laughs> I can open. Four minute preamble, that is like record short for me. Okay. So excited. And you see, it comes nicely packaged in tissue paper and bubble wrap. It took me a second there to remember what bubble wrap was called. Um, bubble wrap. And a nice bag. It smells really good. It smells really good. Um, I'm not sure, you know, what it even smells like, but it smells really good. 
Um, the fabric is a bit different um, than what the fabric is of the bag that the um, tokens came in. But like the tokens, it comes with a drawstring. And also like the tokens, we have a tree charm um, in the shape and size of the tokens on there as a nice little charm. And the deck comes, I'm so excited. <laughs> the deck comes shrink wrapped. Here's the back and here's the front. So this is a really cool Oracle deck and one that, you know, there is really nothing else like because of this shape. It is the same shape as the tokens. And something that's really cool about this um, is that when you lay the cards out or when you lay the tokens out for that matter, you can make a kind of honeycomb shape. So you could have one in the middle and then have um, different ones here, 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 and they all connect. You can lay them out in a kind of zigzagging path. Um, there's lots of different ways to lay them out and the guidebook comes with um, some suggested ways at least the, the journey tokens, um, the tokens guidebook comes with a couple of ways suggested to lay the tokens out. Um, so that's great. You can also potentially, with the cards or the tokens, lay them out in this hive tableau. So this is like a grand tableau with every single um, symbol in the system. I just printed this out and put it in a plastic sheet. So that's really fun. Um, so yeah, you can do that with the tokens or the, the cards. Now I got the regular sized um, deck. So the dimensions for the regular size of the deck are 3.25 inches by 3.7 inches. So it would be 3.7 inches on the long um, here and then 3.25 inches here. Um, I am gonna go out on a limb and say that to fit this on a um, a surface like all the cards at once is going to take up quite a bit of space um, but the travel version of this deck comes with 2.2 inches by 2.54 inches so that's that's going to take up substantially less so you could if you are more interested in the grand tableau style on a um, on a table that's maybe not the biggest or you don't want to put them on the floor maybe the travel size but I went for the bigger one um, there's a little part of me honestly that is kicking myself <laughs> for not just getting the regular and the travel size. Um, I did order, when I ordered Kelly's Lenormand deck, um, the Story and Color Lenormand, I ordered the larger size and then I went back and ordered the mini, so who knows. Um, but I'm thrilled with the size of these. I think that they're going to be perfect to lay out. And I've slowly been seeing others get their decks and just um, edging them. I haven't decided what I'm going to do in that regard yet. I want to play around with them a bit first, um, but we'll see. Okay. So I want to do a full strip flip. That's one for the blooper reel. <laughs> um, I want to do a full flip through and share the cards with you so you can see um, the system. And there are suits um, in the system. So, and again, if you get the guidebook for the deck, it will look a little bit different because this is the token book, but the meanings are the, are the same. Um, so there are a few different suits. There's the journey suit, which is um, kind of directional for the most part, um, northeast, south, and west, crossroads, um, symbols like this. There's an element suit, which is elemental. There is a energy suit, which has um, kind of movements of different kinds of energy, right? So grounding energy, um, voice, intuition. These are some of the um, symbols in that suit. There is the cycle suit, which has um, symbols for each of the four seasons in it. It has um, the moon cycles as well. So there's a, a new moon and a full moon and a waxing and a waning. Um, it has... Um, some of my favorites in the, the deck, and we'll get to them. Um, there are uh, infant, child, adult, or no, not infant, conception. Conception, child, adult, and elder. And these also go with the um, areas of the, the quadrants of the birth chart, which is really neat. Um, 
and then there's a nature suit of an animal, um, animal, plant, and crystal. So that's the 45. Here we go. Oh, I should mention before we go, um, included was one extra token in the, in the bag with the cards. And you also get, almost forgot, almost forgot to even look, the D20. And I mean, there's lots of things you could do um, with the D20 dice, but um, one thing that you can do is that there's a chart in the guidebook for 20, um, 20 each for the animal, plant, and crystal cards. So there's, there's 20 animals, 20 plants, and 20 crystals um, in a chart that, that Kelly's provided in the book. And then there's also a blank chart so you can fill in your own. So you could roll, you can roll this if you say, receive the card that is animal or receive the card that is crystal and you want it to be more specific. You can roll this one to see, you know, which one of 20 it might be representing, um, either of 20 of your choosing or the, the ones in the chart um, that Kelly has included. So that's another cool thing. Okay, 11 minutes. <laughs> Let's look at the cards. <laughs> And the card, oh, and I should mention the cards have keywords, um, which is great. Um, if I remember correctly, I think she might, Kelly might have been considering um, having, you know, keywords on, on the big, the bigger size of the deck, but not on the travel. Maybe, I feel like at one point I was thinking about this, keywords, not keywords, um, but they come with keywords and I'm, I, I like them a lot. So here we go. Web connection and the camera is not really going to do justice to these but the the depth of the um, the color in these cards is amazing um, really really cool and something else that is cool about this shape I'll just say and holding it up just jogs my mind is that if you um, read reversals or if you read kind of um, rotations will say if you read with a square um, a square deck for instance you could really do some cool things with that um, with these cards as well um, so you could read them as kind of um, you know leaning into or leaning out of or or forward looking and, and backward looking lots of different ways that you could read um, with this shape so web is connection 3rd road edges love this one crossroad choice I really like the um, not quite symmetry but suggested symmetry in this card amazing I've actually um, Ke Kelly has videos of the deck um, you know on her channel I've kind of like held back from looking at every single um, every single image so that they would be new to me in this wonderful moment. Um, yeah. Upper world, above, you see the, the tops of the tree there. Middle world, between, and these symbols in the center are of course the symbols that are on the tokens. lower world below and I will say like I'm glad that the that the keywords and the names are on here but working with the journey tokens um, system with the 45 I will say like it comes surprisingly quickly to me to have learned and remembered all of the all of the symbols so I'm at the point with the journey um, tokens now that I don't have to look at the the book or at a reference every time to know what one of the symbols means because you know some of them are familiar like elemental symbols and things like that and others come in groups like the four quadrants of the birth chart or the moon phases um, learning them kind of by memory is is not as difficult as one might think based on the fact that there are 45 um, and now i just really want to <laughs> see yep i had a suspicion 
that these will fit together. Let's see. Well, they won't fit exactly, but to get the upper world, middle world, and lower world, you get the tree. That is beautiful. We have four directions, east or start, beautiful sunrise, south, middle, west, ending, and north, contemplate. I love this. Um, these would also be, now that I'm looking at, at these, um, I think that, you know, if you didn't want to be using the deck for a reading at a particular time, um, cards like the direction cards or maybe the moon phase cards, the elements cards would all be really beautiful, um, like altar cards or display cards. You could put them in a, um, a card holder. I have some card holders on my table all the time with my cards of the month or cards of the year there. Um, you could, um, you know, put out the four elements cards, you know, and do a reading around them um, or put out the, the, you know, the full moon card in the center and then do your tarot reading um, around that for full moon. Like so, so many things. Um, you know, I love a multifunction and I feel like this one is going to be one that I work with a lot in different ways. And the elements are next. Spirit. Fire. This like looks, it's not even going to show, it, it feels really fiery <laughs> in person. Air. Intellect. And you can see there's little, um, what is this called? Dandelions blowing there. and water, emotion. And earth, physical, and there's mountains there. It actually, it actually snowed where I am today, mid-April snow, <sighs> worst. If you're like me and you don't like snow, Active is movement and receptive is stillness. And if you um, are familiar with Kelly's Lenormand deck, the single um, circle and double circle are also used in the Lenormand deck for um, querent and significant, which I really love and appreciate and is my favorite, um, you know, thus far ever that I've seen take on um, like gender neutralizing and making more welcoming the gentleman and lady cards in Lenormand. So love that. And the carryover between systems is nice, right? So more of the, um, the energy cards, grounding, Passion, will, confidence, and the will is like it's like the I, right? The the will, serenity, heart, voice, truth. Whenever I saw this one. Um, voice, it makes me think of a megaphone, <laughs> like amplifying, you know, that's good. Ooh, oh, I'm in love. <laughs> Intuition. This is the most amazing purple. It's looking more blue, um, in the camera than it is in person. Incredible, incredible. Guidance, higher conscious. 
Oh, and these are these are some of the tokens that um, that are some of my favorite. I can't. They're all favorites. Let's be real. Um, but I really like these um, symbols in a reading. Disruption, shake up. So you can see how even with the the symbols that are not you know they're not like widely known symbols like the elemental symbols necessarily but but this as disruption is very clear so even just on the token with the symbol and nothing else um very very readable right blockage obstacle repel reflection i like how um the tones of the background follow the repelled energy there. Unseen, hidden. Abdication, responsibility. Day and night, cycles, very cool. And I like, um, you know, how the word day is on the left and also the, the yellow um, for day is on the left. I also like, and this is like a really like nitpicky thing. I, maybe it's not nitpicky when you like it, but a tiny thing that I like is that I like how the, the slash between day and night goes the opposite way as this dividing line does. Like little things, little things that are so special. We have seasonal cards of winter, reflect, reflect slash plan. Um, for me, if I'm entirely honest, um, my keyword for winter is like hide <laughs> or hibernate, just, just hide um, until it's over. So this morning's snow, not impressed. Spring, plant and grow. That's a really beautiful spring card. This reminds me of places that I go camping. Summer, tend and celebrate, love. It feels like a sun card, which I love. It feels very happy. Autumn, harvest and clear. This one's interesting. Hmm. It's a ready brown, it's like autumnal leaves. But the shapes also kind of remind me of sweet potatoes, which are also autumnal. So I'm quite happy with that. New moon, intention. Waxing moon, building. This is wow the waves oh, the moon cards are so good okay <laughs> the waves on this card are amazing i just want them on my wall these cards full moon manifest has basically all of my favorite jewel tone colors in there i think my favorite color is green which isn't really in there but all the other favorites are in there Waning moon, release, releasing, excuse me. Every time I get to one, I am like, it's my favorite one. This is, oh, I just peeked at all the rest <laughs> ahead of you all. Here we go. Uh, the next group of four is the um, birth, what is that called? Birth chart quadrants. Here we go. Conception or spark. I love the little spider coming down. It's like just the beginning, you know. That spider is thinking about what they're going to do. They've got the idea. Child. Development. Things are in progress. Things are taking shape. Adult, achievement, 
now things are really looking, you know, more complete. And elder maturity. Just see, hang on. I just, I need to see some, is it, is it? Okay, I'm probably totally, yeah, I'm totally imagining it. I kind of thought that the elder <laughs> looked bigger than all the other spiders, but I think they're actually the same. Um, but that's fine. I'm fine with the imagined big spider at the end. And then we have, um, these are the three that you can use the dice with if you'd like. Animal, spirit support. I like how this one, um, you can see the wolf here um, and some, some wings here in a paw print and a um, spider web. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not like one specific animal necessarily, which is cool. You know, I love an animal deck though. You know what you could do if you didn't want to use the dice, you could pick one. And then if you wanted to, you could pick out of an animal deck. And then that would give you, eh? Good thinking. Plant. Physical support. So beautiful. That the, This green is, is amazing. Crystal, soul support. If you happen to have a crystal deck or a plant deck, you could, you could pick out one of each to go with these. This deck is going to, and the tokens do too, I will say, um, but this deck I feel like is going to be a play as well with others um, deck as well, which is fun. And this one is the new one. Um, it's a 45 cards plus a bonus card deck. So there's actually 46 and it's signs, discernment. I love the bird there. And of course the bird um, goes with, you get the one extra token in here. Um, so I can add this one to my journey tokens bag. Um, and now I'll have 46 tokens. So that is the Journey Oracle um, by Kelly Fitzgerald at The Truth and Story. I am in love already. Um, you know, I love, I love the tokens, but the colors on these are incredible. Um, I feel like this deck, let's see. Do I wanna shuffle it yet? Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> Sometimes I like to leave the new deck in order for a while, but I know the, you know, the symbols here. Okay. It's an interesting shuffling experience. Um, is there a better way? I'm just going to overhand that like I would any other deck, um, but then kind of line them up between shuffles to make them a little bit easier and go wide end to wide. That's a good shuffle as well. Um, the cardstock, I will mention, everybody loves to know about the cardstock, myself included. And I was so excited about the deck that I didn't even say anything about it. Um, it is a linen finish. I don't think it's gonna be very easy to get, um, oh, there it is, get it to show up. Um, you can see a little bit of the texture there. It's a linen, um, it's like a, a casino, like um, playing card type stock. Um, you know, they're, they're a good shuffle for sure. Um, you could probably riffle them. I actually don't riffle um, except when I'm playing cribbage, but you don't wanna speak too soon. Um, yeah, you totally could do a riffle if you wanted to. Um, that's about the most riffling I ever do um, to see if it's possible. But um, I'm going to overhand it. And now I'm just rambling, really. Um, so that is the beautiful Journey Oracle deck by Kelly Fitzgerald with The Truth and Story. Again, I will link... Um, I will link where you can get a copy of this deck 
below from Kelly's website. Um, and I will also just link, I mean, I'm sure everyone knows um, Kelly's wonderful YouTube channel, but I will just link um, to her channel where she has um, a video about this deck as well. So you can check all of that out. Um, if you're interested in this deck, I am so excited uh, to honestly turn off the webcam and go and play with my new deck. I'm, I've been so, so eager for it to come. So I wish everybody a wonderful day. I will see you all again soon. I hope that everyone is keeping well. Um, yeah, and I will be back. Not sure when, but I will see you in a little bit. Let me know if you ordered this deck, um, if you've been playing around with this deck, maybe you got yours before I did, um, and how you found it, um, or, or what your thoughts are about this beauty. And I'm gonna decide the deck, I definitely wanna edge it. I can't decide though if I wanna try something like the antique linen or brown to go with the backs, or maybe, you know, a, a goldy linen to go with the pattern on the backs, or if I wanna do some kind of rainbow edging. We will see. I'm gonna think about it, and I will let you all know what I decide. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon. Bye.